Hi, I am Atanu Chaudhary. I welcome you to SureSolve.com. Today I will be explaining 5 of the 10 problems uh, of our SSGL algebra question set 1. The first problem is a 3 term algebraic fraction simplification problem in which we will take up the first two terms together for simplification because these are uh, simpler than the third term. Uh, when we uh, compare the denominators of the first two terms, we find that a square plus x square uh, are common between the two terms, uh, along with uh, along with uh, the ax also. But ax is of opposite sign, so uh, we can think of applying the well-known formula of p plus q multiplied by p minus q equal to p square minus q square to arrive at the uh, combined denominator as a square plus x square whole square minus a square x square. In the numerator, the a square plus x square, these two terms are cancelled out, uh, but uh, minus 2x remains. So this is the transformed um, simplified uh, result of uh, first two term com combining operation. And uh, after this operation, uh, the three-term expression is transformed into a two-term expression, in which the numerators are same and opposite sign, and denominators seem to be different. But they are not different. When we do closer, we find that they're exactly the same, because uh, the uh, square plus x plus the whole square, when we expand uh, the 2x, is reduced by one a uh, two a square x square reduced by one a square x square and uh, the, this expression becomes same as this expression. So finally, these two terms are exactly same but of opposite sign, so that they cancel each other out, and the result becomes a zero. Simple result of zero. Option D, zero is the answer. This is all about the first problem, which seems to be different. First, we identify the pattern commonality between these two denominators, and then the result also we have identified as exactly the same as the third term denominator. Now, the, in the second problem, uh, it's a deductive problem. Uh, we have to evaluate x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 from the given expressions are x cubed plus y cubed equal to 9 and x plus y equal to 3. Uh, straightforward, we think of multiplying the uh, two given terms to arrive at these extra terms of um, x, x square plus xy multiplied by x square plus y square which we don't like to keep in the same form because we know the value of x, x plus y that's why x plus y, x square plus y square is converting into the x plus y whole square minus 2xy so that finally our unknown is only one that is xy we have to find out the value of x, y, which is also not difficult because uh, x cube plus y cube we know uh, as uh, equal to x plus y multiplied by x square minus x, y uh, plus y square, uh, where we this is 9, this is 3, so x square minus x, y plus y square. Uh, equal to we express it in, in as x plus y whole square minus 3xy because x plus y always we know the value here equal to 9 divided by 3 equal to 3 x, this is again 9 so 3xy uh, uh, equal to 3x goes on the right hand side 3 comes here equal to 6 so xy equal to 2 so with this value of 2 uh, we go back to the um, uh, expanded uh, stage of multiplication of x cube plus y cube with x plus y and uh, put the values here. This is 9, this is 3, 9 into 3 is 27, this is 2, this is 9, 3 square equal to 9, minus 2 into 2, uh, that is 5, 5 multiplied by 2 equal to 10, and 27 minus 10 is 17. So x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equal to 17. So that is the deductive simple answer of this problem too. And now uh, uh, this is option uh, D. Uh, uh, let's see the uh, third problem then. Now, third problem is a different kind of problem altogether. It's called a maximization problem where we have been told to find out the maximum value of the quadratic expression 
4 minus 6x six minus x square. Now the speciality of this maximization problem is whenever you are told to find out the maximum value of an expression, a quadratic expression in x, the uh, sign of x squared will be negative. And whenever you are told to find a minimum value of a quadratic expression in x, the sign of x squared will be positive. So please remember that. Now uh, let's uh, find the maximum value of this expression. Uh, unless you know the method, you won't be able to do it. But when you know method, it's very simple. We have to uh, transform this expression in a special form. We have to transform uh, this expression into two parts. One part will be only number and the second part uh, has to have a, a square term in x, uh, a square term in x where both the x terms uh, of the quadratic expression are absorbed. Here we have absorbed x square minus x square minus is outside this and 6x also here minus 6x and one extra 9 we needed so to compensate minus 9 we have to add 1 plus 9 so these two becomes equal uh, then finally this expression becomes 13 minus x plus 3 whole square so this is the two-part expression we have transformed this quadratic expression in which one part is uh, a, a square term in x and the other is in a purely numeric term. So when we transform this, uh, we can always say that x plus 3 whole square will be always uh, positive or zero uh, because x is real. And if x plus 3 whole square is positive, the value of this expression will be reduced from 13 by that much amount so this expression will have maximum value of 13 only when uh, x plus 3 whole square is 0. So uh, maximum value of this expression is uh, 13. Uh, this is a simple method. Once you know the method, it is very easy. So D option D 13 is the answer of this problem. Let's see the second, uh, fourth problem. Now, fourth problem is a peculiar problem. 5 to the power root x plus 12 to, to the power root x equal to 13 to the power root x is the equation given. We have to find out the value of x. We cannot at the outset find out any deductive method by which we can find out the value of root over x. But we remember that um, uh, uh, 5 square equal to uh, 29 uh, 5 square equal to 25, so, sorry, uh, 12 square equal to 144 and 13 square equal to 169 where 25 plus 44 uh, equal to 169. Uh, so this is very simple and we remember from our uh, experience of a uh, square of uh, small numbers. That means uh, when root over x equal to 2, this equation is uh, satisfied. That means x equal to 4 is the answer of this problem. So we, though we have not deduced, we have found out the solution by from our experience in square values of small numbers. This is about the fourth problem. Let's see the fifth problem. Now the fifth problem, uh, a plus b plus c equal to 0 is given. We have to find out the value of a square plus b square plus c square divided by a square minus bc. Now this fraction algebraic expression, uh, the denominator is not similar to the uh, numerator at all. In these cases, what we do, we uh, uh, um, extract the denominator expression out of the numerator step by step. At the first step, we subtract 1 bc and add 1 bc. So that a square and minus bc expression is formed in the numerator. And at the next step, uh, naturally, we get 1 uh, out. And uh, the in the fraction, numerator becomes b square plus c square plus bc. This is one step simplification where we have eliminated the a square altogether. Uh, now, uh, now only we remember that a plus b plus c equal to uh, 0 is given. Uh, so uh, we we will be using this a equal to then equal to minus b plus c and uh, a square equal to b plus c whole square the minus when we square the minus sign goes uh, 
uh, and uh, we will use it here because this is equal to 1 plus b plus c whole square uh, minus bc there will be 2 bc uh, 1 bc will be reduced so this expression so uh, a square divided by a square minus bc now b plus c whole square we have got will replace a uh, straight way this with the a square so a square minus bc divided by a square minus bc so this is 1 so this is 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so the answer is simple uh, finally, it is uh, uh, 2. So, uh, uh, this is the last step uh, that uh, okay. So, uh, this is all about uh, uh, this is uh, option C, not any other option, the value of this expression will be 2 uh, given a plus b plus c to 0. So this is the solution of 5 problems of the out of 10. Uh, in the next episode, we will be uh, give, uh, explaining you the solution of the rest of the 5. If you have found, uh, found uh, this um, ex explanation useful, please come back for the uh, next episode. Thank you very much.